Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. We would now like uh, to begin dialogue with global negotiators, the future of climate change regime and environmental issues. We would now like to start the open symposium. Today, I will be serving as your the moderator the from IGES, Institute for Global Environmental Strategies. My name is Aimi Goto. At the, at the very at the beginning, I would like uh, to ask from Japan Institute of International Affairs, um, Ambassador Nogami, the president, please. His Excellency Ambassador Al Abdullah. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for coming to this symposium. Uh, JIIA, the Japan Institute of International Affairs, is one of the uh, organizers of the symposium. On behalf of the organizers, let me say a few words of opening remarks. As is indicated in the subtitle of the symposium today, COP18 and Rio Plus 20 will be held in the near future. It is around the corner. So at this point in time, it is uh, uh, very uh, timely to have speakers well versed in this issue to discuss the climate change regime of the future and environmental issues. We are extremely pleased to have this opportunity. Last year, before the Durban COP meeting, similar symposium was held by us. Climate change and environment issues are scientific issues, and also at the same time, they are economic and social issues as well. At the same time, diplomatic and security issues are represented in this uh, problem. From that perspective, we at JIIA has been cooperating with IGES, Institute for Global Environmental Strategies, and today's symposium is a part of that uh, partnership. Now, in Japan, Great East Japan earthquake. Since that disaster, we have been facing a very critical and challenging period of the environmental climate change issue because of the disaster. From that perspective as well, COP18, a real plus 20 process how the world is responding to uh, this problem and how Japan is going to uh, respond to these conferences emerging. And we are able to have the discussion, which is frank and candid, together with chief negotiators of various countries for these conferences coming up. Of course, there are many challenges, particularly the year 2012 is the year where we are going to see much change in terms of political leadership in the world. So we are facing such a huge, gigantic political challenge of that in that year. So from that perspective as well, we would like to have a wide-ranging discussion on this issue. This symposium today is participated by the negotiators of various countries. So I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to the speakers and negotiators. And of course, my appreciation goes to members of the audience. That brief remarks, uh, I would like to conclude my brief remarks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Nogami. We now would like to call upon Mr. Ryuji Yamane, Parliamentary Senior Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs. There will be consecutive translation for Senior Vice Minister's speech. The floor is yours.
おはようございます。Good morning. それでは私の方から式辞申し上げたいと思います。本日は地球環境戦略研究機関及び国際問題研究所のご尽力によりこのようなシンポジウムが開催されましたことを嬉しく思っているところであります。Today it gives me a great pleasure to attend the symposium made possible through the effort by the Institute for Global Environmental Strategies. And the Japan Institute of International Affairs. 昨年3月11日に発生した東日本大震災からまもなく1年が経過しようとしております。これまで我が国は国際社会のご支援もいただきながら、全力で復興に取り組んできたところでございます。この1年間に皆様からいただいた温かいご支援と力強い激励の言葉に対し、日本国政府と日本国民を代表して、改めて感謝を申し上げます。Almost one year has passed since the Great East Japan earthquake occurred on March 11th last year. Japan has made utmost efforts to achieve recovery and reconstruction with the support from the international community. On behalf of the Japanese government and people of Japan, once again, I'd like to extend my appreciation for warm messages of encouragement and support over the past one year. We are going to be able to do this in the past one year. We are going to be able to do this in the past one year. We are going to be able to do this in the past one year. We are going to be able to do this in the past one year. We are going to be able to do this in the past one year. We are going to be able to do this. Meanwhile, despite the、uh, natural disaster of unprecedented scale, as I have、uh, repeated、uh, many times, Japan is absolutely committed to continuing to take environmental issues, including climate change,、uh, that、uh, humanity faces、uh, seriously. Yesterday, 本日ご出席のアティーヤ長官をはじめとする各国の交渉責任者の方々の間で、本年末の COP18 に向けた交渉の進め方について、活発な議論が行われたと伺っております。The day before yesterday and yesterday, Brazil and Japan co-chaired the 10th informal meeting on further actions against climate change. I have been told that the President of Administrative Control and Transparency Authority of Qatar, Atiyah, here with us, and other negotiators are engaged in vigorous discussions on how to advance negotiations toward COP18 scheduled at the end of this year. Today, in the summit of the year 1992, the year of 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 the y また6月にはブラジルでリオプラス20が開催をされます。このような意味で本年は気候変動、環境問題にとって重要な年であり、このシンポジウムの開催は事業を得たものであると考えております。This year marks the 20th anniversary since the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change was adopted in 1992 at the Rio Earth Summit. Brazil will be a host to Rio Plus 20 in June. In this regard, this year is also critical for climate change and other environmental issues that this symposium was held timely. The climate change and COP17 countries have been held in the same way 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 in the s a m 我々はダーバンでの成果を基礎としてさらなる進展を目指さなければなりません。Efforts by South Africa and the execution of heavy duty as chair of COP17 and collective political will of participating countries enabled us to achieve historic outcome at Durban. However, much more needs to be done to solve the issue of climate change. We must pursue further development after the outcome at Durban. ダーバンプラットフォームについては、本年将来の枠組みに関する議論の土台を作り、新しい作業部会の作業を軌道に乗せなければなりません。また、真の地球液と
なるような公平かつ実効性のある枠組みとはどのようなものなのか、すべての国に適用される枠組みはどうあるべきかといった視点から、今こそ創造性と柔軟性をもって、2020年以降の新たな枠組みについて議論すべきであります。On the Durban platform, we must build solid foundation for discussion on future framework this year and put the new ad hoc working group on track. We should also discuss with creativeness and flexibility a framework beyond 2020, such as what the fair and effective framework leading to genuine global interest could be and how framework applicable to all nations should be. 新たな段階に移るためにドーハの COP18 では既存の作業部会で進めてきた作業を確実に終えることも重要であります。また、緑の気候基金をはじめとする途上国支援のための仕組みづくりも引き続き着実に進めるべきであります。COP18 に向けてダーバンで得られた政治的意思を維持しつつ、作業を進めることが重要であります。日本としても積極的に貢献をしてまいります。It is also important to finish the work of existing working groups、uh, in Doha COP18 to move to the next stage. We should continue to steadily advance the Green Climate Fund and other supporting systems for developing countries. What is important toward COP18 is to advance work while keeping political will gained in Durban. Japan is determined to make worthwhile contributions. 本日もう一つのテーマである世界の低,酸化に低炭素化については、6月のリオプラス20を大きな契機として、国際社会全体で取り組んでいく必要がございます。リオプラス20の最大のテーマは、世界のグリーン経済への移行であります。低炭素化については、資源効率の向上や生態系サービスの回復と並び、グリーン経済の重要な要素となっております。Taking the opportunity of Rio Plus 20 in June, the entire com international community needs to tackle low carbon growth of the world, which is another topic for today. The greatest topic at Rio Plus 20 in June will be transition to the global green economy. Pursuing a low carbon growth is an essential element for the green economy, besides improving resource efficiency and planning ecosystem service recovery. グリーン経済への移行のためには、再生可能エネルギーの普及、リサイクルの推進、持続可能な農業への投資などを行う必要があります。世界がグリーン経済に移行することは、地球温暖化や資源の枯渇、食料価格の高騰など、現在の地球規模の課題への有効な解決策となります。Promote recycling and invest in sustainable agriculture. Shifting to the green, global green economy could offer、uh, effective solutions to global challenges such as global warming, resource depletion, and soaring food prices. Rio Plus 20では世界の首脳がグリーン経済への移行にコミット,コミットするとともにその具体的な方法について合意することが期待をされております。我が国はグリーン経済への移行が世界の持続可能な開発のための重要な手段であり、その実現の鍵となるのはグリーンイノベーションであると考えており、リオプラス20の準備プロセスを通じて、このような主張を行ってまいります。World leaders are expected to make commitment to transition to the green economy and agree on the concrete way forward at Rio Plus 20. Japan believes transition to the green economy is an important tool for sustainable development of the world. And green innovation will play an essential role in realizing the transition. Japan intends to raise this point through the preparatory process of Rio Plus 20. また、リオプラス20においては、世界のグリーン経済への移行を促進するために、我が国の高いエネルギー効率、防災への取り組み、持続可能なまちづくりなど、環境先進国である我が国の知見、経験を国際社会と共有していく考えであります。To promote to transition to the global economy, green economy, Japan will take the opportunity of Rio Plus 20 to share with the international community our knowledge and experiences. Such as high energy efficiency, disaster reduction, and sustainable city planning. <laughs>